Uh oh. Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself the trouble. Uh, can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. Uh -huh. What's up? So this is the Vision Hunt Decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Psst! Hey! Wait! Huh? There's someone trying to get our- Hey! Come on! This way! Wait, I think I've seen her before! Uh, uh what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? Shh! Quiet! Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Hey! This isn't right, you know! Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit back and watch others in trouble! Huh? Hey! Wait! You do have a vision! Shh! If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have one much longer. <sighs> alright, alright. Here. Take it. <laughs> Wise choice. Alright, let's go! What should we do now? He's already given up his vision. Doesn't he know what could happen to him after losing it? Ugh, this is your fault. You're the one who stopped us from interfering. <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost it. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. Oh, oh. so that's what's going on here. And to think Paimon was about to unleash Paimonial wrath on Miss Yoimiya. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, think nothing of it. I could tell oh. from your reaction that we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. Whoa, that's quite the introduction. I do like her loves tattoo. fireworks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Ugh. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Masakatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> so, what about if I join you instead? Sure! Welcome to the team! Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop! She must have meant you! <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do! Have you, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so, 
Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I've already surveyed the area and found a way in. Whoa. Talk about a reliable source. Seems we've got the right person on it. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Genshin Impact, Let's go come as soon on! As right. You Don't can't say it's not the other police out. station. They weren't called police station. Why? Why would you call them police station? You could have freaking said so many other different ways. You fucked up. <laughs> police were invented a long time ago. Destroy entire Nate. Uh, now that we're inside, this place is a whole lot creepier than I imagined. Come on, this way. As long as we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, you sure? Alright then. Just be careful not to get caught. And leave the distraction yes, uh, with me. You too. Think that little trick of yours could fool us? <laughs> Locking you up was just the beginning. <sighs> no. Oh no! Those ten Ryo Commission brutes are torturing him. If we don't come up with a way to break him out fast, then huh? Yaimiya, when did you get back here? I can't bear to watch. If anything happens to Master Masakatsu, our whole plan will have been for nothing. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Oh, ma'am. We, we were just teaching him a little lesson, that's all. Huh? Who's that? That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? Make way. Let me have a look at him. I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. Yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Quick, go and investigate. Yes, ma'am. They're coming! Quick, hide! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to... Don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. Uh oh. What? Fireworks? Huh? Was that an explosion? It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, let's hurry. Huh? <sighs> the fireworks were enough to distract them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to. Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, Yaimiya, this is turning into a bit of a fireworks display. <laughs> Well, fireworks 
Crafts are my craft after all. Every batch has to be spectacular. <laughs> Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, well... <clears throat> you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. Leave this place. Fingers. I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the Decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True, though if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. <laughs> Don't mention it. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm, you do present a good point. Being in a constant a state trap. of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. Oh god. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of hot pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You really do want to play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Oh, 
houses, we gather raging demon level joy young chilies, super salty ham, mist flower corollas. This is already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. Oh, God. Oh, my stomach. It feels like you and Mia's fireworks are going off inside me. Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. Uh, Toma? You okay, buddy? Salt crusted herring, unripe lavender melon, flash boiled dongo. Oh, and whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. Oh, hold up. My life is starting to flash before my eyes. Time I call it a night, everyone. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the Traveler ended up eating one. Boiling cakes in hot pot? Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. Uh, I need to lie down. Oh, I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's Hot Pot Challenge is... me. Oh, brother. Ah. <sighs> Good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> There's gonna be a sequel? Sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. Bye, Toma! Seems we won't need to be visiting the Kamori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? You think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? You must be dreaming. <sighs> Why you? You better hope you have the courage of your convictions. <laughs> Why wouldn't I, old man? Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's gonna leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's gonna stick their neck out for the... <sighs> <laughs> Look at that. No response. You know I'm right. Face it. This is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? Oh. You are despicable. Hey! I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? How about we kick, walk Business. over your fucking guts, you fucking Pay cunt. up. And you can take your fabric back. Sound good? If you ask me, 
It beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. Ah, oh, no, I want to behead your ass now. You're just a big bully. I... <sighs> what choice do I have? Wait. Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. But... but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. Oh, yes, of course. Then please stand well back where it is safe. Now, it is time for me to honor my word! Let's get down to business! My apologies! Yup! Take flight! Sato, I want her! Traveler! Please! Are you hurt? Don't worry, we're fine. Holy the vagrants left in quite a hurry. Shit. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'd best do a count. Six, eight, ten. Yep, it's all here. Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? This was indeed our intent. Don't get us wrong, though. That's not the reason we helped you out. Even if it were just a few carrots or cabbages, chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Paimon thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting silk in Inazuma would have been zero. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Please, say no more. You need silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. I could never ask you to pay after everything you've done for me. No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. There is nothing to feel distressed about, because nothing, I repeat, nothing happened here in these woods today, did it? Thank you, I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You have helped me greatly, and I will never forget it. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid we must part ways. I must get these goods back to the Association. If you ever need... Anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. See you then! Bye! Oh my Safe god, journey god. Home. Don't go getting oh. robbed again! Traveler, thank you for stepping in to help out. There was no trouble. But vagrants didn't seem to know who you were. They must move in completely different circles. 
Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way, I'm glad they didn't recognize me. The fewer people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kurisu. It really shows what a great person you are. Oh, uh, your praise is quite unwarranted. I merely did what anyone oh, in my position would have done. Broken. I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or every social class. Cut as far damage. as I'm concerned, it was one individual oh helping another in need. I guess that God. deep down, Not I don't that, see how a society can be considered just when people so encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Oh, man, I really, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting off topic. No right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos and give our hard what Okay! Jeez. Hey there! We're back! Welcome back! So, any luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Yeah. Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. They better all be there! I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you, too. What? It's just... I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuman attire. Oh? Are you sure? Is that so? Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. Hmm. More like when you're away from home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paima would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Just what is that supposed to mean? Make <laughs> them in whatever size the customer asks for. <laughs> Your interactions are so adorable to watch. Um, I mean, um, I can. You're hmm. way too kind. Well, um, if you're sure, as you wish. Something else I've been wondering is, how do people in other nations dress? It's so true. People dress in all kinds of ways. Some people like to wear a hood, some cover up half their face with a mask, some just straight up dress like a peacock. Oh, and some have their tummy on show. Others wear skin-tight leotards and leggings. If you can imagine it, Paimon guarantees that someone out there is wearing it. Really? So there is no single standard and people just dress however they like? So fascinating. Somehow, I feel a little envious. Wait, so you want to dress like a peacock now? <laughs> no, of course not. I just mean, I admire they, those who are able to freedom. do as they please. I would very much like to travel across the Seven Nations and see how people live. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Ooh. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area. 
we don't want to leave any loose ends. <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Ooh. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm-hmm. I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Hmm. Shall hmm. we head off? Sure. Yep, yep. Side places. Looks cute and cozy. <gasps> oh, Welcome. Oh, Miss Kiminami, how do you do? Ah, oh, Miss Kamisato. Perfect timing. Your booking was for well, right now. I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent. No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait <laughs> here for a moment while I prepare your food. Tiny customer. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. Right I just have a few minor up? things I need to attend to. I won't be long. Oh. You're left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, Why we serve all the classics. Food? Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh. Guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful. Not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection, and they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. So you see, on paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. I'm a never would have Is no, Am I stuck like We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. I said my It makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway, relax. Enjoy your meal. And please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Ah! Huh? That sounded like Ayaka! So sorry, traveler. Was that? Could you join me over there for a minute? Um, I need your help with something. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see. This house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. 
Actually, this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Ki Right! If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? If so, then we've got lots of options, don't we? That's what I was thinking. You must have picked up a lot of knowledge about different cultures on your travels. Hopefully, including regional cuisines. Can I leave you to finish this task, then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? Great. Sure but... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, Paimon knows! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven. And it's so good. That does sound pretty good. Delirium. 